Field and Rural Life magazine here down at the Royal Cornwall Show and we're meeting up with Louise. It was very kind of Louise to actually do an interview at the Bath West. West, wasn't it? It was, Bath yes. And, and you had a fantastic day there, I believe. We did, I mean, it was absolutely amazing. We couldn't believe it. We had um, the Bell Texas there and the Pole Dorsets and uh, we did well in both classes, actually. Yeah, very pleased. And showing today, how's it gone? Oh, well, there we are. The pole door, well, the pole, pole dorsets, I'll show you the horns that we have oh, of yes. the Pole Dorset Society. They did not as well as we had done at the Bath and West, yeah. but we still had a good show. Yeah. Bell Texas, though, um, they had done extremely well. We got the breed, the champion, and the reserve. So, uh, unfortunately, yeah, we, we, wiped, we wiped the board, as you could say. So, <laughs> there were 70 in the end of the Bell Texas down here, which was absolutely amazing for the classes. Oh, that is. And it was, it was great. So, yeah, very pleased for everybody who oh, got involved. Oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Great, fa fantastic weather. Lots of ju lots of public here, which is nice, isn't it? Many many within the sheep section. And just to explain a little bit about uh, you know your, your main main line of work. Well, yes, I um I well the, the sheep you could say are like a, a part time work really, and I, I work for the National Sheep Association as their policy advisor. Um, do you look after all all of the sheep associations, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so so, so, so re reference the uh, the association. Did they actually look after all of the uh, all of the breeds? I, I believe that we we have, to be honest, they're affiliated to us and um, with their affiliation it basically means that uh, for them to be part of NSA then they have a, a louder voice with maybe something, for example, a, of a policy type thing they want to sort it out. So, yeah. you know, with the massive thing that's happened in the last couple of years with Blue Tongue, for yes, example. Yes, Blue Tongue was it. Was so, it. yeah, we were able to go, go to basically the, the organising board where a uh, chief executive sits yeah. um, and, and literally with, with also for example industry stakeholders so NFU, yes. it will be us there as well, maybe um, uh, CLA, that type of thing, yeah. can all go and say well no this is actually would work or this really isn't going to work so yeah. it does really, it's really good to be able to have that and they, they we can then have it back down the chain and actually say this is what's happened and this is how it's working. Yeah. So, so it, to be fair, it's a very, very important uh, part of the infrastructure. Isn't it? I, I think it is, and I've always, I've been a member of NSA for years, and um, I've always really enjoyed, like, for example, they have like a magazine that comes out as well, so you've got that sort of bi-monthly thing, so you can read yeah. that over coffee. Yeah. But it's also more of the fact of representing not just the show team or the show people here today, but also everybody out there in the countryside, you know, the sheep farmer. Yes. Uh, the one who a few years ago was struggling to actually make any money and yeah. now for the first time they first are. Time it's starting to happen, yeah. isn't it? It's starting yeah. to happen. But I, I know there's an awful lot of hard work that goes behind the scenes and it's, it's always a great pleasure to meet up with you <laughs> and, uh, and doing extremely well yeah, at the moment and, uh, and, it. and, hope it, uh, and hope it carries on for the rest of the season. Yeah, thanks very so much. You're welcome. Lovely. Thanks Thank for your you. time. Thank thanks you. very much.